Hi everyone, this is Sal Peanut and welcome to my channel. One of the challenges of coming and living here in the United States or immigrating to the United States is getting a job or continuing your education or getting an education. Because even if you have a degree in the country where you came from, that doesn't mean that you can apply that degree or that profession here in the United States right away. Even if you have finished high school in the country where you came from, that doesn't mean that you can uh, go to a college or to a university here in the United States right away. Even if you have a bachelor's of science degree in education and you have an experience teaching in your country where you came from, that doesn't mean that you can get a teaching job here in the United States right away after arriving here because you have to go through a process and that is what I'm going to share with you in this uh, video. But first, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel before you continue watching. For those of you who are new to my channel, I would like to give you a brief background about me coming in the United States and uh, about applying for a job and continuing my education. But if you are not willing to uh, listen to my story, just skip this part and go to the process of equivalence, uh, degree equivalency. And uh, for those who are willing to listen, don't skip this part. And I would like to give a shout out to my former co-teachers of Binagbak High School, Kesem National High School, and old elementary and high schools in the uh, town where I came from in the Philippines, Kesem Isabella. I arrived in the United States in August 2019 and then I applied for a work permit or temporary work permit and I also applied for a green card and um, while waiting for my green card interview and for my authorization document, work authorization document, I enrolled in university and I only um, submitted my international transcript of records, uh, my statement of purpose and three recommendation letters and I got accepted in university for my master's degree and now I'm about to graduate. So um, six months after I submitted my Six months after I applied for a temporary work permit, I received my work authorization documents in February 2020. And that time I never thought that I could already apply for a teaching job here in the United States. So I looked for other jobs instead and I got a job at an assisted living facility in Marysville, California. And um, I worked there for more than a year and now that I'm about to finish my master's degree, I decided to quit and look for uh, another job which is related to my education and that is teaching and quitting my job at the assisted living facility was one of my saddest decisions because I loved working there, enjoyed working there and I loved my workmates. So shout out to uh, all my former workmates at the, at, the assisted living, at the assisted living facility there in Marysville, California. If you happen to see this video, please don't forget to subscribe. So I looked for jobs here in the school district in the city where we live and I applied for different positions. I applied for a child development assistant position. I applied for instructional aid for an after school program. And I got an interview first for the child development assistant and I went to the interview and one week after that I got a call from them and I was offered a job. I was about to sign the contract and I found out that it was the working hours was only the working hours only 3.8 and that was too short for me. I easily get bored and 3.8 hours at working 3.8 working hours a day is just too short for me. And um, to be honest, I needed money so I wanted to work more hours and also I was expecting for another uh, another interview for the uh, instructional aid positions and so I decided to decline that offer and that was so I decided to decline that offer and that was so sad because I worked hard for the interview only to decline the job offer so one week after that I got the interview I was so one week after that I was interviewed for the instructional aid position and then one week after the interview I received I got an email from them and they're asking for a copy of my uh, transcript or degree equivalency but I had not done that yet and so and I didn't know how to do that so I called them and they told me to uh, call the superintendent of schools here in this in the city where we live so I called the superintendent of schools and then they sent me an email and they gave me a link to the approved or accredited equivalency agency here in the United States. So I submitted my transcript of records to the equivalency agency and one day after that I received the result and I found out that my Bachelor of Science degree in the Philippines is equivalent to a Bachelor of Science degree here in the United States. So I will be able to get a teaching job even if I'm not able 
if even if I'm not yet finished with my master's degree. So I'm going to share with you in this uh, video how to get your uh, credentials evaluated and if you need to enroll in a high school or a college or a university or if you need this for an employment purpose, I'm going to share it with you in this video. So if you are ready, let's go. Okay, so this is the email that I received from the superintendent of schools here in the city where we live and they sent me this link and this link leads you to the uh, web page for the agencies approved by the Commission for Foreign Transcript Evaluation. So here are the list of the agencies approved by the Commission for Foreign Transcript Evaluation. Um, we have here, here in California. There are also agencies in other uh, states like in Wisconsin, in uh, Texas, some, uh, New York, and most of them are based in California. And since I'm here in California, I decided to uh, utilize the agency which is based here in California first. I tried calling these numbers for the Academic and Professional and International Evaluation or the ABEIE and no one answered my call so I decided to email them but at the same time I was also trying to call these numbers for the Academic Credentials Evaluation Institute or the ACEI which I ended up using. Um, no one answered my call and so I decided to click on their website. If you go on their website uh, you will find this information close this one so you can see here at the bottom right here there is the chat box so if you want to ask them if you want to chat to a representative if you want to talk to a representative and ask your question just fill out this information your name your uh, email address and your phone number and then you can um, ask your question here and then a representative will respond to you and then um, I did so I did that and then I, they sent me a link to the form that I needed to fill out okay so um, here is the form that you need to fill out so here you need to um, fill out your first thing all be careful when filling this out that um, you have to fill this out correctly with correct spelling and then correct inf correct information and the asterisks are required as you may already know so all this your mailing address they ask for your phone number your email your birthday your country of birth have you ever applied blah 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 section b academic your academic history from your primary school so it depends if you are applying for if you have finished primary school in your own country then you have to uh, fill this out here the dates of attendance if you don't remember the date of attendance if you don't have the uh, form to look for the exact days then just uh, put the year here or if you have finished high school then you have to fill out this part high school you have finished a post-secondary blah 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 you have to fill out this too here then you have to um, select the primary purpose for evaluation so select all the apply so here are you applying for further education for employment for immigration and blah 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 so you can check all of this if they apply to you and types of evaluation reports and additional services so here these are the basic report so you may choose single or multiple credentials so basic report is for um, employment for immigration military enlistment or further education and they have the comprehensive report that is course by course with grades and gpa if you want to do that and that is more expensive and then here is the rush service and this is what i did the rush service and then you have to uh, write your name here and then your signature you can actually uh, use you can sign it here then comments and then you have you there is a part here where you need to upload your documents like if you have your transcript of record so you um have to uh attach your transcript of records and then this is the payment method um, so after that after i did that i received An email from the ACEI um, 
this is this, so this is the uh, email that I received and you have to check your information and then I also received Okay, so you will get a reference number after you submit your application. So here are the um, documents that you need to prepare. We have here the required documents, transcript, certificate, diploma, degree, professional license, translations, multiple credentials or degrees, if you have doctorate degree, syllabus, and other thing, other um, documents like proof of name change, missing documents, verification, important notes. I only submitted my transcript of records and that's it. I did not submit any other uh, documents. I was not required to submit other documents. And when I submitted my transcript of records, when I sent them my transcript of records, they, I received an email that if they needed more documents, then they would um, send me an e another email. But uh, they did not send me another email. That means that they did not uh, need any other documents. But if your transcripts is not uh, in English, you need your translations. You need to do the translations. And uh, in the Philippines, our transcripts, I don't know if all schools in the Philippines, colleges and universities in the Philippines, if all transcripts are in English. But uh, in my case, my transcripts were in English, so I did not need a translation. So those, these are the documents that you need to uh, submit along with your application. Um, there are also specific requirements for uh, some countries like Afghanistan so you can if you are from Afghanistan you can find here the um, specific requirements that you need to submit when you are applying for the uh, when you are applying for credential equivalency Armenia we have Belize we have China oh wow there's a lot of documents needed for applicants from China Cuba also Iran Italy Nigeria and United Kingdom so Philippines is not there so uh, these are the list of specific documents for these uh, countries just uh, look at them okay, electronic documents so ACI accepts official documents received electronically from the institutions where studies were completed or via recognized secure online platform. So I have my um, transcript of records here. I have my copy of transcript of records with me and I have the scanned copy and that's what I sent the agency, the ACEI. Then there is the verification, qualification check evaluation report so these are the types of um, reports that uh, you may need I did the basic report and that is a general document by document and that is suitable for employment immigration or any purpose for a course by course and grades is not required so um, since I only need it for employment I just did the basic report but if you need uh, the evaluation for uh, for their education, a college or university admission, licensing certificate with a professional state licensing regulatory board, you might need to do the comprehensive report. So this one. And how about the processing time? The processing time, the standard processing time is 7 to 10 business days. I did the rush service and that only took uh, one business day so 24 hours so I, I sent my application uh, with my transcript of records to the ACEI on Wednesday last week and the next day Thursday I already received the result that is rush and for the fees for basic report general document type uh, for the fees basic report general document by document these are the fees and also it depends whether it is rush or uh, 7 to 10 business days since I um, applied for a basic report and I did the rush service I paid $315 all in all so that is the process of degree equivalency or transcript evaluation and I would like to give a shout out to Academic Credentials Evaluation Institute Incorporated. I highly recommend this agency because they are very responsive. 
and the service is very excellent. So thank you so much, Academic Credentials Evaluations Institute Incorporated. I hope that you learned something from this uh, video and if you have some questions, feel free to uh, write them down below. So uh, again, this is Sabi Peanut and I hope uh, that I was able to help you in some way. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you again on my next videos. Bye-bye.